What's up, Raph gang? It's Raph in the Raph cave. Welcome back to another unboxing video. So guys, this is another Android super box for TV streaming. This is the monster box. Uh, so I'm going to show you what it uh, looks like in the box and turn it on and show you what the layout looks like. Uh, this particular box uh, comes with some special apps that allow you to get a lot of good TV in your home. One thing to mention, guys, is there is a uh, discount code for $50 off the box. If you look in the description below, there's a code and a link to go uh, to check this box out. Uh, it helps me out, helps you out, and gives you some money off to your box. Check it out. Link description below. Thanks, guys. So uh, definitely check them out. So without further ado, guys, uh, hit that like button, subscribe, and welcome to my channel for unboxing videos. So let's look at some specs on this guy, and then we'll uh, check it out. Let's get it. All right, guys, so this one here is going to come with the quad-core ARM Cortex processor, 64-bit CPU, 4 gigs of flash memory, and uh, Android 9.0. Now, 9.0 is an older one, but this is definitely going to be a maximized and refined 9.0 as well. All right, uh, so we're looking at the Android 9.0. It's going to give you great decoding and up to 4K resolution, resolution, and also minimizes buffering and freezing. Also depends on your internet speed, of course, right? Uh, the 128 massive storage, that's built into this box, so you can download a lot of apps and even play some games as well on this guy, which is nice. Uh, dual uh, antennas for Wi-Fi, it's going to be 2.4 and 5G, as well as an Ethernet port in the back for up to 100, not 1,000, right? So I would suggest hooking this up to the 5G network to get you the fastest speeds for streaming TV. Also has improved cooling as well. A lot of ventilations in the side and the bottom. And it does have a nice look to it. Very, very cool. Definitely unique from the other boxes out there. Uh, it's seven days playback that's built in. So there's a special app that gives you seven days of playback. to uh, catch up on some stuff you might have missed. And of course, it's very easy to set up. Five minutes, hook up your Wi-Fi, log into Google if you want. And uh, away you go to you enjoying TV. So let's check it out, look at the unit itself, and then plug it in. Let's get it. All right, guys, so here is the front of it here. Lift this guy up. And we're going to get the main event right on top. We'll get to that in a little bit. Very sleek look. I definitely like the uh, red accent on top. That is really nice. Uh, look in the box here. You're going to have your standard power cord with your special end here. No USB power. be nice if they updated that. Standard generic power, uh, HDMI cable and your basic remote control. You can program it to do your TV power and volume and input of your TV as well with this. It's all your basic functionality buttons there. And then the user guide inside, standard stuff. It kind of tells you what some troubleshooting steps and what, the, what ports are on the box itself. As we lift up the Wi-Fi antennas here, very cool look on top, love the red, uh, red accent. Monster Box logo on there, X1 Max. You're gonna have your ventilation uh, uh, ports on the bottom, as well as on the sides. You're gonna have your uh, this is your uh, mini SD micro SD card slot for storage, uh, USB 3.0 and 2.0, and your reset restore button. On the back, you're gonna have your power input, your infrared sensor if you want to buy that set a uh, separate adapter. Uh, your composite connection, if you want to buy that separate adapter. And of course, your HDMI, which I'd recommend using. Uh, your LAN port and your optical port as well. So guys, I'm going to plug this in and check it out. Let's go. All right, guys, we are loading up now the Monster Box intro here. So with this box, you're going to hook up, um, you have apps uh, from Google Store and preloaded apps uh, on the box itself. Uh, you're going to be able to watch YouTube on it. You can download HBO Max, a few things. Uh, what I've done so far is I've just put HBO Max, Sling, uh, Plex, and uh, YouTube on here. So this is the layout. Pretty cool. Uh, these are going to be your apps that are on the box itself. Uh, these particular three apps here are the specialized apps that come with the box. Uh, and that will give you everything you need there. Uh, but yeah, some, some basic apps here. Uh, 
on the on the bottom here this is going to be your uh, a setup screen uh, this is going to be your folder for uh, apps that are on your usb stick or, or a, a micro sd card uh, this is going to be to speed up the device uh, to uh, clean up the cache or get rid of uh, opened apps uh, this is going to be your speed test uh, something i'll do for you now speed test is going to go uh, based off your wi-fi speed and it goes to uh, fast.com so this will let you know what kind of speeds you're getting and that definitely would help uh, streaming your tv shows All right, so back out of that, the trash can there is to uninstall apps you don't want anymore in the box, and then your customer service is there. Favorites is going to be the apps that are your most favorite that you go to all the time. Uh, the App Store is the built-in uh, app store that you can go to uh, either the Play Store or the App Store that's included in this box to download more apps for you. Browser is going to be Google Chrome, and that way you can surf the, the internet on your TV. Uh, playback is going to be the seven day playback. Then the VOD is video on demand. And of course, live TV app as well. So that's it, guys. This is going to be the monster box. Uh, pretty standard streaming for your TV shows. So if you want a device that uh, pays for itself, buy this once and you're good to go. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one. Home Theater Rules. Raph out. See you guys.